Welcome once again to Stock Valuation. Today I have chosen a question paper from November 2020.2 in brackets. I'm sure you find that question paper. We are still looking at stock valuation. Okay, question number 4.2. Lotus accessories. The owner is Alex Lotus. The business uses the first in first out method to value the gas lamps. They decided to sell the gas stoves as well, expecting a demand due to increased load shading. The specific identification method is used to value these stoves. The financial year end is 30, February, 30 April each year. Okay, the first requirement, calculate the following for the gas lamps on the 30th of April 2021. The value of the closing stock using the FIFO method. Okay, let's do that very quick. Okay, we have got information A, uh, stock records for the gas lamps. What do we want to calculate? The stock, the closing stock, the stock on the 30th of April 2021 okay here we are given the number of units that were on the end but we do not have the value or the amount which is the one that we want to calculate which method are we using the FIFO method the first in first out when you use the first in first out method you calculate the value of the closing stock starting from the bottom okay because the stock that remains unsold is the one that was purchased last so our last purchase was in the month of march Okay, how many items do we need on end? 270. So when you look at the month of March, we've got 220 units, which is most likely that all these units remained unsold. But at the same time, we were also given information that is talking about the returns. Returns from March 21, they are 40. Okay, so let's deal with, let's find out exactly how many items do we have from the month of March. Okay, so I can start by recording here March march okay we have got 220 units minus uh the ones that were returned we remain with uh one 180 units okay at what price the price was 80 rand times 80 80 rand okay fine and then since now we have got 180 units and remember we want to make 270 this is the number that is on the end so with which other month is just before the month of march let's check again on our table it's january okay so we are going to take the balance which is going to give us 270 from the month of january okay it's 75 friend okay so this is how we calculate it we indicate january we are going to say we need 270 minus the 180 that is already there we are going to get uh something like 270 Minus 180, we are going to get 90. 90 units times 75 friend. Okay, now let's put the totals. 180 times 80, let me check on my calculator, 14,400. It will give us 14,400 here. 90 plus 75 is equal to 6,750, 6,750. We add the two amounts. After adding the two amounts, we are going to get something like 21,000. 150 21,150 is our closing stock using the FIFO method okay remember what i said you start by looking at the stock that was last purchased the last purchase was in march and we only found out that we only had 180 so we had to go up again to the month of january to get the other 90 units to make 180 plus 90 it gives us 270 units that were on end that are valued at 2021,150. Okay, thank you. I hope you have understood this one. Now we are looking at the stock holding period in days. The stock holding period in days. Okay, so here the formula goes like this. We are simply going to look at the closing stock. The closing stock divided by the cost of sales. Okay, times the number of days in a year, 365. So this is the formula for stock holding period. So our closing stock, we have got it here, 21,150 over the cost of sales. How do we calculate the cost of sales? If you remember, I said it's opening stock plus purchases. Our opening stock that is given there is uh, 12,650. Let's check from the table. The opening stock is given as 12,650. Uh, we add the purchases. We minus the money for the returns. We're going to multiply 40 by 80 to get the returns. And then we are also with them that is going to help us to uh, and then we also more, more minus this 270. 
Okay, so we have got the 12,650, 12,650, okay, uh, 12, plus the purchases is 193,500, 193,500, minus, okay, the 40 units that were returned, if you say 40 times 80, 40 times 80, you get 3,200, minus 3,200, which is the 40 times 80 for the returns, and then minus the closing stock, 21,150. And then we are going to multiply by 365 days, which is going to give us something like uh, 42,5. 42,5. Okay, 42, days. Okay, this is the stock holding period in days. Okay, remember this calculation was to calculate the cost of sales, opening stock plus purchases minus returns minus the closing stock it gives us what it gives us the cost of sales okay so okay this is the calculation for calculating the stock holding period so we are done with 4.2.1 our closing stock is 21,150 and our stock holding period in days is 42,5 days thank you